Well, hey, folks, old Dan with you again. And uh, now every time, I, my brother's got me paranoid. Every time I start a video with that, now I think I, it messes me up. <laughs> anyway, old Dan with you again. And uh, uh, this morning, I just want to tell you a little story, a little, uh, uh, I think it's kind of cool. A uh, little story, though, uh, about uh, me on the Red Eye flight uh, out of Lexington, Kentucky one night, headed to uh, Hotlanta, Georgia. I had been up to visit my brother in Tennessee, and uh, the flight uh, was, was going to leave out of uh, uh, Lexington, Kentucky, headed to Atlanta, Georgia, and then on to Dallas-Fort Worth. I was uh, flying on uh, Delta, I believe it was, so I had to make a, a, a stop in Atlanta. Um, and, uh, anyway, we, uh, we were supposed to leave to get the flight cheaper, as cheap as I could. I had to fly out of Atlanta, I mean, out of Lexington and, uh, at two o'clock in the morning. And that, that two o'clock red eye, boy, that was, that was rough getting up and getting all the way there because we were about two hours from Lexington. Anyway, we made it and I got to the airport and, uh, was and sat at the terminal for a few minutes and then they called to board the plane now we were supposed to leave at two o'clock i mean wheels up at two o'clock well they called to board and everything we got we got on the plane and we sat there and sat there and pretty soon it dawned on everybody on the plane all five or six of us that we weren't moving and it was about two fifteen. so the grumbling began and we're like, you know, why in the world is this thing not taking off? We should have been up in the air 15 minutes ago, and we're already, you know, grumpy and tired. You know, so somebody asked one of the flight attendants, you know, what's the scoop, man? What's what's the deal? Why ain't we moving? And they said, well, you know, there's we have some VIP uh, people coming onto the plane, and we're waiting on them because they're running a little late, and they are VIPs, and so... You know, we're going to wait on just a few more minutes. They're on their way. We know they are, so we're going to wait. Well, that went over like a lead balloon. And, uh, you know, you know, wasn't long. The pilot came on the speaker, and he said the same stuff. And now it's still going over like a fart in a diving suit. You know, we just, we, uh, <laughs> we weren't happy. But uh, pretty quick there, about, you know, within about five minutes or so of the pilot saying his speech, we uh we saw these guys start piling into the plane. There's about eight of them, and uh, they all were care. I mean, they were happy and, and you know were laughing and cutting up and stuff. And boy, here they come. They all they had like they had uh, like band instrument cases. Man, they had uh, like horn cases and all this stuff. And we're like, what the heck? Who are these people? You know? And uh, they had t-shirts on, like concert t-shirts. And we're like, who are you? Who are you guys? You know, and then one of them showed us the shirt. And it, uh, this bunch of people was KC and the Sunshine Band. I mean, legends in the, in some of the, some circles in the music industry. And, uh, I knew them from when I was a teenager, man. I used to listen to them when I was a teenager. I loved those guys. They were great. You know, I was no longer mad. I was, I was happy about it. And doggone, if they didn't all come around and pile in there and sit all around me. I was sitting right next to the guy that was the lead singer, man. I mean, he was sitting in the seat next to me, and uh, they were all around me, but front, in front of me and back of me on both sides of me. And I was like, oh, this is cool. I didn't even mind being boxed in on the airplane. But uh, it was pretty neat, pretty neat. And uh, we talked, you know, quite a bit on the way to Atlanta. I didn't even, I didn't even sleep. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I had a good time. And... Uh, Anyway, we uh, we got to Atlanta and they got out of there and we changed planes and and uh, I, w I was able to tell my story and you know I was I was uh, feeling pretty good, man. But anyway, that's my story on the red eye and uh, it just goes to show you, you know, Mama was right. Always wear clean underwear in case you're in a wreck and uh, Always keep your hair combed and your teeth brushed in case you're sitting amongst rock and roll and disco royalty. And uh, and you never know who you're going to meet on, at 2 a.m. on a red eye. And anyway, that's my story. I was glad to share it with you. Uh, hope you guys have a great day today. Hope you uh, hope you win a bunch on the scratch-offs. Hope if you're not scratching something off, well, doggone it. Hope you have a good day anyway. 
Hope you're having a fine day at your job. If, if you're out there working somewhere and, uh, you know, if you're not subscribing, hit that subscribe button. It don't cost you nothing. And, and it ain't, it ain't going to be one of them things where they hit you up for money every month or anything. It's just going to be something where you hit it one time and forget it. And uh, it'll get you in there where you see these videos every time right off the bat. And if you uh, if you would, hit that thumbs up. Like like this thing so it'll get me better off and, and make my video a little bit better. And uh, leave a comment if you would. Leave a comment if you don't want to. I don't care. But, uh, you know, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the comment, and now I'm going to hit the road. We'll see you. Bye.